okay. Hey, well, listen up. You see this right here? This is a chicken that I have purchased for my cousin and I, Lisa, for our Thanksgiving dinner. And I actually went to Sam's Club and got it. So, if you can look at this pack here, it says natural raised, excuse me, nature raised, all natural, young chicken. You see that? Hey, this chicken looks like look a, at this shit. on steroids. Look at this chest. This is not look at no the leg. real chicken. Look at this shit. Show me the butt part. Look at this shit. Got muscles. Guess what? We're not eating this shit. This shit is going in the trash can. We're we are not going to eat. I don't know what our government is putting down food. But look at this shit. This is not normal, people. So be careful when you out here shopping and you buying food. Look at that shit. This is not real. Don't put this in your body. Don't feed this shit to your kids. This shit should go viral, for real. Mm, take a look at this. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again, hit you with a video. Now, this video right here is about the Sam's Club chicken. And some of you all may have a Sam's Club card, because I think it's like $100 a year for the membership card. And some of you all might not have one, might go to Walmart, whatever. But this chicken right here, this big, big ass piece of chicken, came from Sam's Club and what the hell did they do to this chicken I do not know this chicken look like Rocky Balboa Rocky Bow chicken on crack on stir wars mixed with crack it's like it, it, it took a whole huge dose of crack and just started pumping stir wars in them it's like it just didn't stop working for like three weeks straight and just swolled up all these muscles and this is what you have to be careful about when you eating these type of pro, uh, produce right here this stuff is so filled with GMO genetically modified organism if you will or just all kinds of different uh, insecticide pesticides and everything in this chicken you know and you have to wonder like what do what in the hell are these people thinking when they are putting this inside these animals and giving it to us you know and this is why a lot of people are turning to vegetarians and if you're not a vegetarian yet by the end of the video or by the end of the year you will be because it's no telling what they're doing to all this chicken and then they have the nerve enough to say that the chicken was form raised how in the hell is the chicken farm raised when you're serving it to the masses of people? You know, do they have time to select a certain few chickens out of thousands of chickens? Because if anybody ever worked at a chicken farm or a chicken plant, no damn well, all these chickens are the same. You know, they have a box for Tyson. They have a box for Pilgrim's Pride. You know, Tyson get the good cuts. Pilgrim's Pride get the next good cut and however it goes down. But trust me, chicken is chicken. They're coming from the same place. But what are they doing to these damn chickens? To make them this damn swole, you know. And I remember when I used to go to church's chicken when I was young. My mom, even though she used to send me up there to go buy a 10 piece. And I eat about five pieces on the way back and catch her ass whooping sometimes. Sometimes she wouldn't whoop me, sometimes she would. But, you know, I had to get mine in before everybody else got theirs. That's just the way I was. You know, I, I changed now. But anyway, uh, those chicken was small. They were like... Popeyes type chicken, you know, but today church's chicken, like you can get one damn breast for like this is this damn big, you know, like big as a damn ass cheek, if you will. And it's like, what the hell are they putting in these chicken? And people just can't get enough. Every time they bite into the chicken, you seeing all this white juicy stuff run down their mouth. They remind me of uh silicone injection. I don't know why I'd be looking at it like uh you know, but it'd be some good ass chicken though. So this is why I want to know right here. What in the hell? And why are they plumping these chicken up like that? And you have to be careful. When they weigh these chickens, a lot of the grocery store, because you know they they, they, they sell it to you by the pound, how much it weigh. So, a lot of these chickens be filled up with water and stuff, like in, in, like injecting in water. That's why when you squeeze them, you see all this uh, juice and stuff come out of them. It's like, what the hell? You done added about a whole pound of water to this chicken, and you done raised the price from three twenty seven to damn six twenty seven. Like, what's up with that right there? You know, how in the hell am I going to feed my family? You know, if you taxing me out the ass for one damn piece of chicken, you know. So I don't understand why these companies, which I do in a way because they make a huge profit off of it. It's an incentive for them because they don't care about our health. But it's up, it's up to us out here to care about our health because let me tell you something. They doing all kinds of things strange for a little piece of change right now. They doing anything to get by right now. They selling people fake rice, got plastic in it. They selling people uh, fake ass pizzas. They have all kinds of plastic in it. People talking about this display. That wasn't no damn display. That's that stuff they hell they were putting up in there. You know. So I want to know this right here. Just picture this. If you got 
How many billion people in the world? You got what? Seven to eight billion people in the world. How many cows you got in the world? And how many hamburgers they sell every day? How in the hell is these cows able to reproduce so fast to keep up with the people? appetite you know because if you got this many people eating hamburgers every damn day and you only got this many cows where the hell is the beef coming from like the old lady used to say in in the, uh back in the day where's the beef you know where is the beef coming from that's what the hell i want to know so it's, it makes you sit back and think well you know what they gotta be doing some uh some very strange things to this meat because i don't i don't i don't see cows getting born every week you know, I think it take a little time for them to mature, right? You know, to conceive and, and grow and all that. So how in the hell do we have this abundance of fast food places that's serving hamburgers everywhere? You know, and people don't even think deep like that. They don't understand what they're really eating. You know, you eat all kinds of stuff mixed together. You can just call it mis uh, mystery meat, if you will. But this chicken right here basically did not deserve to die. I would put it that way right there. This chicken right here had to be the biggest chicken in the damn world. He probably was the one running the yard, like the prison yard. You could just pitch a fall leg, fall horn, leg horn, running around the damn yard, just running, just running shit. You know, got all the women on. And they decided to take this damn chicken out. You see how big the damn chicken legs was? Chicken legs big as my damn leg, damn near, and them arms. The chickens, the chicken up there dead like this. You know, that had to be a swole chicken right there. But I'll tell you one damn thing. Ain't no way in hell I would have ate that chicken. I mean that right there because it makes no sense, you know, for our government to to allow this type of things to go on unless it's about control. You know, it is something in the food that's going to make you sick or something that's going to control your mind or have you all messed up. And by the time you're 30 years old, 40 years old, you're wondering why you're having respiratory failure, why you're having trouble breathing. You're wondering why you always in the bathroom, your stomach hurting, you got diarrhea all the time because you're eating this contaminated food, which have all kinds of different hormones and injections in it. But let me know what you all think about this crazy ass situation right here, because this is definitely sad what's really going on in this world these days where we have these com companies basically you know just drugging us up like these pharmaceutical companies and pretty soon that's how the produce chains is going to be it's no telling what they put inside of these poor animals and the way they even make these animals suffer right before they even kill them you know it's very sad you know but a lot of you don't want to hear nothing about that so let me know what you all think also and what you would have done if you would have bought this big piece of ass chicken right here because i'll tell you one thing right there you know that chicken right there didn't deserve to die but it can feed a family for at least a week. Swole as that joker was. I, I bet that meat tough, tough as hell. It don't even look, it don't even look uh tender to me. Anyway, let me know what you think. Make sure you hit that like button if you like the video. You like, subscribe to next time. Watch what the hell you eat. Hey, <laughs> stay blessed. That's all I can say, because you're gonna have to stay blessed when you get through eating this stuff right here. You get through consuming that meat right there. I'm telling you, you're gonna be in the bathroom with the blinds, with the blind, you know what? Just, that's all it's gonna be. I'm out.